Um, so this is going to be a little different today because um, we're not doing no fit of the day joint right here. Rather, we're doing a vlog, I guess you can call it. Um, this is one of those like little nuggets, you know, of my life or whatever. And um, you know, we're just going to explain a little bit about like you know how how things were in my you know back for me when I was living life, you know, about seven eight years ago. And like you know, we all we all listen to music, and now we got like iPods or you know some MP3 player to listen to. Well, like you know, in the days before I got an iPod, I had uh, you know mixtape CDs that I made, like you know songs that I liked that I would make, and um, you know I put songs that I liked on a CD and then you know listen to it on a CD player. Um, I got to the point where you know I want to be like a mixtape DJ, you know the ones. You know, if you hip hop, you know the ones that be yelling up on the song, ruin the songs, be like, no shit, no shit. You heard it here first, yada yada yada. Shout out to moms and Pookie and all them Ray Ray Pookie, you know, and all that dumb stuff. You know, like you try to listen to the song, but they fuck it up the song because it's the new stuff. And um, you know, so I was on that phase for a minute. So I'd be like, all right. So I remember what the song's called, because, you know, I usually delete it because to save space on my computer or whatnot. I would uh, have a program where I put the song in and at the beginning and at the end of each song, I would say, like, no, the song by ya, 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 sum, sum, and I would, you know, transition all over to the next track or whatever. And this is like when I was back in 03, so I was like a freshman in college at the time when this all happened, and I did it for a few CDs, and then, like, you know, I haven't listened to stuff like that in a while, and then, like, I got my iPod now, you know, it holds 160 gigs, you know, it's an old iPod classic, I, have, I do have that many songs, trust me, um, so, yeah, I put on shuffle, and I'd be, like, you know, doing my thing or whatever, you know, whether it be working out or in my car or, you know, when I go to sleep, and all of a sudden I'd be hearing my voice, you know, introducing the damn song, and I doesn't realize how annoying it is. And it sounds really f funny, too, looking back, and I'm like, man, it's like one of those things, like, it was like, man, did I do that? And like, ah, oh, I fucked up this song now. I was like, I was running above this. But, um, you know, like, here's an example of a song that I did, you know, for one of my mixtape CDs, trying to get my inner DJ on or whatever. So, because of like, And this is like the end of it right here. And uh, here, do we say something else? We move towards the end of the song. Alright. You know, something stupid. Stupid like that. Alright. Like, beginning of the song, we say something stupid. And then the song, we transition to the next song, but we'll probably say something stupid too. And when we reach the end of the next time, we're like, end of the next time, cop a new one. Whatever, whatever. And we even had stupid names for them, like, like, Welcome to church or something like stupid like that. Um, you know, young and you know, foolish. And I guess even today we're still young and foolish, um, in a way, but there's no a little better in a way too. Um and that brings me to like uh something else, cause like, you know, around that same time we used to like mess around with my boys and make uh, you know, a few freestyles and rap songs over some beats, whatever, whatever. And we do it at like my friend's house like in his basement and like you know kids got the uh, auto tune the fruity loops and like you know those nice nice microphones or whatever studio quality microphones now where like anyone can make a beat anyone can make a rap song and anyone can make a little studio if you get the right equipment for us we were like real amateur quality you know it, was, it sucked like we had to we we use we used a little tiny microphone that comes with the desktop computer that you get when you buy it from the store, you know, the little cheap one that with a little fake stand or whatever, and then we use a um, sound recorder to record the song, so we had to 
get the instrumental to the beat that we wanted to do it on. Put the microphone next to the speaker so we could pick up the beat, and then we had to, and then we had to, you know, spit our rhyme or sing or the hook or do whatever that we wanted to do on the song. So we wanted to spit. We spit on next to the mic with the speaker here, microphone here, and then we like yes, yeah, you know, lang. And we had to do it all in one take. And then like any part, we had to screw, we screwed it up along the way. We we're like ah fuck. We had to start all over, and do it again. And it should have taken like 15 minutes. It took like three hours to complete. All right, because we didn't we didn't have the sophisticated like editing tools, like Pro Tools or whatever, to like you know layer the beat, layer the song and the track, and you know engineer all that stuff. So you know we did it real quality, and it comes out real quality. But you know for us it was it was cool, but it was foolish too, because it sucked. Um, it all started originally because, you know, dad's a girl prom, you know, when I was a high school senior, you know, I, my friend half jokingly said, like, why don't you just write her a song? And, you know, I ran with that idea and, you know, it, worked, it was fun to us, you know. I had to make two because the first first one didn't work out so well and then the second one, you know, worked out the best. So, um, and it all worked out for the best, I guess, you know, looking back at it, so I was cool with it. Um, but, uh. <laughs> Yeah, we started just messing around and started making like a few other songs. Um, this particular one right here uh, goes with the Never Scare beat that we just played earlier. Uh, but um, you know, there's this it's the Never it's a hella scared freestyle that we made that me and my boy made just messing around. We just dissing our friend hard on it, and um, you know he heard it and he was going to come back with a response track or whatever, but. You know, he never did, and, you know, he said he was going to go at me hard, and, you know, I would have been cool with it, too, because, um, we'll do some B-Hill swag right here, we'll make this, uh, one-shot music video with the freestyle, so, uh, sit back and enjoy this one right here, because, you know, this is how we do it, yep. this is Van Diesel, the chameleon, a.k.a. Tyrone, ripping this shit right here. Rick Flair.